What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. In this commentary, as you can see, I'm playing some Black Ops 3. <laughs> and I'm using my trademark weapon. Any variant of the AK-47 is usually my trademark weapon, but this gun has been working like trash for me. And this guy quits the game. I don't know why the tag dis disappeared. Dis I was about to say disappears. I don't know why the tag disappears when, you know, when someone quits. The body don't disappear, so why should the tag? It's not him anymore. It's my tag. But this commentary, I really wanted to talk about the Afterburner perk. Why it's super under... I don't think it's super overpowered. I mean, underpowered. But they could buff it a little bit. Like, like a little bit of uh, lightweight could have been in the Afterburner perk. For it to be sexy. For people to want to use it. You know? Because it is important. If they made you jump in the air a little longer with Afterburner, that wouldn't be cool because the game would turn into advanced warfare. And nobody wants this game to be advanced warfare. I think they got the jumping correct in this game. Not too fast. You don't lose people all the time like in advanced warfare. But, you know, they got it perfect. And my Wraith just goes to work this game. I love the Wraith. Although it gets shot down with a slice of pizza. You could throw a slice of pizza at the damn Wraith. That shit will go down. But uh, I think they should have put a little bit of lightweight in the game with like Afterburner. You know, and you can you regenerate your jumping ability or your boost faster. You know, a lot of these perks aren't too, you know must-have perks they should have made a lot more must-have perks i think they or or put some stuff in the right correct slots like like awareness tack mask and it's another one ninja perfect perfect you cannot put three of them on they put it they put them in the perfect slot like people who wear ninja and awareness they get stunned to death people who wear awareness and tack mask the other person with awareness could hear them regularly uh people who wear tack mask and dead silence awareness can hear them like the, it's perfect but um i wanted to talk about also in this commentary about jumping you gotta use your jumping and i i came to learn that people said that in advanced warfare also you got to use your jumping but advanced warfare's jumping was just too fast for like it, it the, the gameplay just was too fast I, I didn't like the superior fucking force and i don't know how i didn't get that tag right there but like jumping out of situations is a, like that Perfect, perfect. Like, I, I couldn't find this dude, so I just reverse jumped out of there. Like, all right, I'm leaving. You know, usually I would just run away and get shot in the back or something. But I just reverse jump and, you know, stay looking in the direction where I know the person is. So in case he shows up, I could just shoot at him and defend myself instead of running away, you know. And you can't, like, look back or anything. So, you know... Reverse jumping, side jumping is a um very, very useful tactic. Reverse jump, look at this, reverse jump. Side jumping is a very useful tactic. As you can see, if you don't remember, go to the beginning of the match where I got the two piece. The side jump, real, I tried to side jump this guy right there. Side jump really gets people by surprise. The forward jump isn't, that surprising to everyone they they just lock on to you with their uh aim assist and then just kills you for some reason like if the further away the 
worse the aim assist works, if that makes sense. So if you jump backwards, their aim assist wouldn't work as good as it would if I jump forward into the person. So the game comes to an end right here. And thanks for listening. Jive Turkey.